Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to be having a look at how we can move between applications on our Mac. Um, so I normally have my dock hidden at the bottom, and um, we'll kind of run through that in a second. And then I'm using Command and Tab to kind of move between the different applications. So on my Mac, I'm always using the Command and Tab key to move between applications. So when you hold down Command and Tab Tab, it allows you to move through the different tabs of your applications. And you can hold down Shift and move backwards. And in order to kind of get that little bit of extra real estate on your screen, um, I always turn the dock hiding off. So I bring my mouse down to the bottom right hand corner and then under my dock preferences I can turn my hiding on. And then basically what that means is that if I do need to use the dock rather than just the command and tab, then I come down to the dock at the bottom here and it will pop up nicely. What happens sometimes is that uh, I will come to my second screen uh, here and then use the, the kind of hidden dock on this screen. And what that does uh, if we kind of have a look at both screens here, is when I then use Command and Tab, it means my tabs have moved to that second screen. So now I'm often looking at my main screen on the left here, and Command and Tab uh, is appearing on the, the right-hand screen, which I don't want. So basically, in order to get the tab movement back to my main screen, um, I just come down to the bottom here and bring that hidden dock up again, and then it will move my tab option back to that main screen. So it's just that revealing and hiding of the dock on either screen that will move those tab buttons uh, from screen to screen. So hopefully that was useful. Um, basically, quick tip on how to move between different applications and then also how to show and hide the dock and kind of get your tabbing bar popping up on the, the right screen when you're doing that. Um, if you have any questions about this, then leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video or tutorial.